Hello there. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to get the current date and time in JavaScript. Well, it is a very easy topic as you can generate a current date and time using the date function automatically. It gives you the current date and time based on your computer or your device setting. So let's go to our Visual Studio code and understand that how we can generate this current date and time in JavaScript. Let's go. So let's first understand the basic syntax by which we can generate the current date and time. For that, we just need to write our variable first, right? And then inside of this, you need to write the new keyword and then the date function. This date function is your inbuilt function in JavaScript. So you need not to define it at your own. You just simply need to use it, right? Yeah. Now, if I print this variable because whatever the date it is generating it gets stored inside this variable and now I'm going to print it for that console.log and then the now inside of it now let's go to our console and you can see that I'm getting a very detailed information about the time and the date right so it is first showing me what it is first showing me the weekday and then the month the date the year the time and this is showing me the standard that is Indian time standard right so by this you can get the whole information about the time and the date now there are few more things which you need to understand is that first that if you want to get only the current date because you are getting a very long data right here so if I want that show me the date only fine so for that what we need to do is that let's go let's create the console.log and inside of this I will write now now after calling the variable after calling the variable you simply need to write put a dot here and then you need to write to date string and put the bracket here now when you do this you are actually separating out the date string from this particular variable inside of this which is holding the whole date information now you are separating out the date string let's go to our console and check as you can see here now I'm getting the date that is the weekday the month the date and the year this is the information about the date not the time as you were getting the time earlier also right yeah now similarly similarly if you want to get only the ta current time for that what we need to do let's copy it out for that what we need to do you simply need to put a dot after the variable name and write to time string similarly like the above for generating date we were using date string and for generating time we are using to time string right now let's comment this also now you can see here I'm getting the time here and also with the standard that which standard is falling for of so this is your time right so this is how you generate your time only fine I hope you understood it right now if there are lot more uh, methods which you can use with your date function right so let's call all the function at once sorry okay you can see here uh, I'm having console.log here and for getting the year what we you do we write the get full year here right so this method we use for getting the month we use get month plus one because your month is zero based right so if you want to know that which particular month is going on for that we need to add this plus one also right yeah now for getting date you use get date for getting hour we use get hours for getting minutes get minutes for second we use get seconds right this was generating the date string which was holding all the information like month the weekday also but for getting only date we use the get date function right now let's go to our console and check mm, where is my console yeah as you can see here I'm getting all the information separately by using simple date function and using the methods for it right so I hope you understood the concept very clearly. This was all for today's video. I hope you get it. If you did, then make sure that you like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next video with a fresh new topic. Till then, 
गुड बाय